Hi, it's Dina, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Vera Bradley haul. This one is from the retail side. Um, part of it is sale items and part of it is new items. And some of them are completely new to me. Uh, actually, only one of them. But anyway, here we go. The first item is a sale item. This was Makani Paisley. I do like purples. This one initially I was loving and then I didn't because it was a lot paler than I expected, but I do like it actually still. So um, this is the four piece travel cosmetic. It has the three pieces and here we go. So you can use this nice big clear plastic thing for a lot of different things. It's very, very functional and it has a nice trim from the pattern of choice right in it. It's nice that it has the handles too. Then this one is about the size of a medium cosmetic, but it's taller and narrower, but about the same with almost, almost in between a medium and a large actually. But it's a nice shape, just straightforward. It is plastic lined on the inside, but not patterned. So that's fine. So it's really, it's a unique size and shape, but I like these kits because it's a great way to get um, pieces for your other bags. Oops, that can stay in there. All right, um, the roll piece, it's not the honor roll case that has that extra flap cover, it's just the roll piece. You can see on the end, it's just a roll. But nice zipper, open it up. It is also plastic lined, great for brushes, pencils, pens, um, makeup or otherwise. It can hold a bunch of different lipsticks, other makeup, it could be a sewing kit, a first aid kit, a snack kit, unlimited function. And then the other piece, um, the medium of these three, I suppose, is actually a dome cosmetic. This is the shape and size that I fell in love with. And one of the reasons I really love these cases is you get a couple small pieces that you can put in your purse and use for a lot of different things. You can use these for tech case, makeup case, all of the things we've just mentioned for the other piece. I tend to use it as, you know, just like my, my miscellaneous bag or I've used them as a tech case too, but again, these are just clear plastic. Um, it's a nylon, oh wait, is it nylon? It does look like a nylon, pale purple or lilac or lavender color, but it is just straightforward. Mini Dome Cosmetic with the pretty paisleys on it. I do love the teals and purples, so it brought me back around to the pattern. In these bags, just a little side note, you can put the dome down there and this one across, or you can do it the opposite way and put that one standing and the dome across there. So it doesn't really matter. They fit perfectly both ways. It's kind of like a little puzzle, but there you go. I love those because at regular price, $70, you get four pieces that are usable for a great many things rather than paying like $35 for a medium cosmetic by itself. So I think that's a bargain. And when they're on sale, it's an even bigger bargain. So that's what I like about them. Plus, I love the pieces. All right, this is the RFID Riley Compact Wallet. And this is in Makani Paisley as well. It has this pattern on the outside, which is really nice. It has this lots of card slots, and this is what I love about this wallet, that it is small and compact, so you can kind of put it in a smaller wallet. But you open it up, you have I always forget, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so five card slots on this side and five on the other side, plus you have three more here, plus you have the clear ID window, plus you have slips. You have a big slip here, big slip behind there, and then a zipper pocket here. So three big slots and lots of space to store everything. So it's a lot of cards. I always have a lot of cards. <laughs> so. So these are great for that reason. If you stuff it up, there are two snaps. So when it gets filled, it's a little bit bulkier. So you have to go to the second snap, but for now it's empty. So I can put it on the smaller one. Okay, it does have the little faux leather Vera Bradley tag on the front. On the back, it has your coin space. Da -da -da -da. And it also has a slip back here. So anything that you can put on the outside that you're not worried about falling out, that's fine. There you go. That's a nice wallet. I really like them. I have, ooh, I don't know, this might be my fourth or possibly fifth. I don't have a lot of them, um, but I really like it. I don't have a Makani Paisley purse, but I do have 
a lighten up version, Kona Paisley, I think it was called. And that is in the sling backpack. So those smaller pieces will all be great for that bag. Anyway, next item. I got a lanyard in Seahorse, of course. And the reason I got this lanyard is because even though I tend to have more zip IDs than I do lanyards, I have two that are actually Seahorse, of course. So I figured, okay, we'll just separate those out from the black one and put them on their own Seahorse one. So I have the Deluxe zip ID, which I have yet to use, but I'm really excited about. And I have the one that came out that was vinyl covered and printed vinyl covered. So this will be for those. Then I got another lanyard. And again, I just, I realized I didn't have any navy blue ones. I could use my Fruit Grove zip ID on other things, but I thought it really made sense just to go ahead and get it its own lanyard because it is such a cute pattern. I don't know why, like, I just really like it. Watermelon is my favoriteest food of all time, and I know favoriteest isn't a word, but that's okay. It is today. But cherries and strawberries and watermelons, and then the little flowers, and then it has that the little multicolored checkers inside. So standard zip ID. It is ribbon pull, but they're generic ribbon, straight ribbon, not the um, rib ribbed ones. There you go. And then the lanyard is just the same pretty straightforward. And then I will go ahead and just clip that right on since that's where it will go. And it will go in the closet just like that. Next item. This is the only new, new item that I've, well, there's two items I've never tried. And I, I pulled this out of the thing already, but they're, you can't miss them. I don't remember the name of them though. That's retarded. All right, sorry. But it's the little slip socks. So I got these in Seahorse, of course. So there's your seahorses. You've got a blue and white stripe, and then you've got just a plain navy blue. Um, but these are the little barely there socks, you know, that you can wear with like your flats or things like that. I actually got these for that because I have several different flats I could wear them with, but I specifically got them for this pair of Crocs that I have. One pair is navy, it's just a little like ballet slipper sort of croc. And then the other one I got, they're, they're like a boat shoe, but they have this pattern on the shoe itself. So I thought even if it shows a little bit on the side, guess what? That's what you're gonna see anyway. So I like that idea. But I needed some more of these anyway, so I used my coupon and I got some good stuff. The next item, this is a market organizer. This is the second new item for me. Um, I did not have one of these. So it has an elastic on it. You open it up and it has, oh, let me pull out the packing here, sorry. It has a notepad, which is great. So for your shopping list, of course. It has a place to put a pen if you want. And then it has just these organized spaces. There's one, two, three, four, five tabs. And it does, wait, what is this? It does actually come with some stickers to use to label those tabs. That's pretty cool. And there's a whole bunch of them, so I guess they can peel back off. It does seem like it's um, like slicky tabs, so that these would peel back off. So that's nice, you can reuse them for different things. I definitely am not good about couponing and doing things. I just tend to be more spontaneous when I go. I might have some certain things in mind, but I'll just, yeah, I'm bad. But I sometimes am good, and I really want to be better, so I got this to inspire myself. There you go. Especially now, things are a little crazy. I have all this time to plan and not a lot of um, time to shop, so there you go. I also got one for a friend of mine. Shh, don't tell her. She'll know when she gets it, but she could be anyone right now. <laughs> all right, and then we have the Big List Pad. It's 200 lined pages. They are perforated right here below this decorative um, top piece. So that's kind of nice. Um, you could pull off each sheet independently and they should rip cleanly, which is good. The first one I got, I have Cloud Vines and Regal Rosette, I think they are. And then this is Foxwood. So definitely some assortment. I'm trying to see. Yep, there's a fox up here in the corner. And that is the only critter I see. But hey, we got a fox. That's always good. All right. Next item 
And this is something I bought once but haven't used yet, but I need to be better about. So Meal Planner with Magnet, this is in Regal Rosette. My other one was Cloud Vine, so you may have seen that before. It's just got your days of the week, like say I wanna have, maybe I wanna have uh, soup and salad, ravioli, whatever. Bad examples because not the best healthy choices, which is my point. But anyway, plan that and then what do you need to make those things happen? You just build a shopping list right there, all on the same sheet. It's really convenient. It's not that you can't do that on just a blank sheet of paper, but I just got this to sort of inspire myself to be smarter, make healthier choices, and be more consistent about it and more purposeful when I go to the store. So maybe that helps you too. I don't know. And then the last item I got is Cloud Vines Clipboard Folio. I really like these. Um, they are cardboard, not a hard plastic and nothing that's gonna last forever or anything like that. But they do have this nice flat clipboard on top and then you open it up, they have a pocket here and it's all very decorative and then you have a nice pad of paper. It is not hold and they appear not to be, is it supposed to be college ruled? I don't know. It doesn't look college ruled but just paper. It's just plain paper. The beauty is when this pad runs out, you can replace it with another pad. Um, really would fit most pads, I think. And then it does have a pen elastic over here, pen or pencil, that you can use as well. Just kind of have like a project folio. It's up to you how you use it. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I have several of them now, but I figured because they are like a cardboard based thing and all that, that they wouldn't last forever. So even if I take care of them, they're gonna wear out. And so I went ahead and got a couple of them that I sort of preempt that little problem. I don't like to, when I like something, I like it. And then I, it becomes a habit and I'm a creature of habit. So like if this dies, I wanna have another one ready to go that I can keep my habit going. Uh, maybe it's a good habit, maybe it's a bad habit, but anyways, that's how I got into this little Vera problem that I got into. Uh, yeah, anyway, so. That's the last item for this haul. I do have more items on the way um, from the paper store, from the online outlet, and maybe also from the retail side, I can't remember now. But today is the release for the newest Vera Bradley Disney pattern. So that is available and I've already been shopping this morning. <laughs> and I think I bought like five or six items, five or six, anyway, the new pattern. And you can go see it for yourself. You can go to the Disney online or you can actually, for the first time I think ever, you can find it on the Vera Bradley's main website. And I think that's because the store at Disney Springs is closed and they didn't want to miss out on the opening day sales. So I think it's very smart. I frankly think they should put them all there all the time and all of the exclusive patterns as well. Uh, at least in the archive, if not make them available, at least in the opening, because then I just think that is great. And it gives people like me that I don't want to go to 10 different stores to find things. I want to go to one place and find what I want. I would buy more. <laughs> not that saying a lot because I buy too much as it is. But anyway, that's what I think about that. And I hope that you all are having a great day. And wherever you are, staying safe, stay home, wash your hands, um, be healthy and I hope that everything recovers quickly for you if anything comes up because I know the finances are going to get crazy right now so it's a crazy world be safe be smart take care for now catch you later